she has several three cockroaches, small, they're small ones, down here in her burrow and I'm sure that tonight she will eat them. I really don't expect to see them in the morning. She is uh, really shy. When I first got her, and you can see this in my intro, I needed to add more substrate to her enclosure and I put a deli cup over her and she, she was quite defensive and I can see why. She had been used to her burrow for about a year and uh, was moved before she came to me. Uh, I just got her a few weeks ago. Um, so that's why she was really upset and now she's just in her in her burrow and wants to be left alone so she's I mean I really don't expect to have any encounters with her until she's rehoused again and that could be that could be some time before that happens unless uh, something comes up like she has mold in her enclosure I don't think the cockroaches are gonna be able to get out of there it looks like there's one that's moving back farther into her burrow. Of course, that's going to trip all the web that she has. She'll, she'll know that they're coming. Okay, I heard something. It sounded like tarantula feet. I think maybe one of those roaches is in her jaws now. So before I put her away for the night, I would like to show you what her burrow looks like. This is my king baboon enclosure, and her burrow actually extends down here, and she has a little window. She's way over here, and the opening to her burrow is way over in that corner, so it goes down underneath, and then over here. And this is a fake plant in her water bowl. So she's almost built something that looks like a, a volcano here pretty amazing. Here's a view of the end of her enclosure. It shows you how she excavated and uh, pulled all the dirt out. I think she started there. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a strategy. Uh, maybe she put webbing in here to hold it together. But that's her burrow entrance. I wasn't sure at first if this enclosure was going to work for her. It's a five gallon aquarium. She uh, traveled around the edges of it her first night. It's pretty much what she did. She stayed up all night looking for a way out and I don't blame her. So then that next morning I added a lot more substrate and she, she stopped climbing and started digging. So this is her burrow going down. Pretty neat. And the top has clips to lock it in place. Um, I, I watched and I could see for myself that she was an escape artist and definitely she went over every little inch of, of it to see if there was any opening. 